Hello there, Internet. My name's Chris Melkis. You might know me from Twitter as uh, Synthite. <clears throat> you might also know me from the comic book review column that I write for a website called Destroy the Brain. The comic review column is called Comic Execution. You should check it out at destroythebrain.com. That's destroythebrain.com. All one word. I write a comics review column and I read comics. I know, it's pretty impressive. Uh, and so when I, I read comics, I do reviews for them for the website. And I do reviews for stuff that isn't really in the um, superhero genre. I focus on a lot of the, the sci-fi, fantasy, horror stuff. You know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, to steer clear of stuff that people have already been doing. So this is what I'm focusing on. And one of the comics that I've uh, picked up to review is a comic that was formerly called Collider. Uh, it's a Vertigo Comics release. Uh, it was launched about a month ago, maybe a little more than that, with a little bit of fanfare. It is a fairly... Um, I want to say it's it's not a big, high-profile comic. The creators are not really big, established names in the industry. Uh, as a result, it may have flown over some people's heads, although by now, at issue three, it's probably being talked about a lot more than it was previously. Uh, at least this is you know, how I've had experience with the comic. And we've hit issue three of this comic, and it's it's definitely built up a lot of critical praise. It's it's Vertigo's one of Vertigo's you know bigger titles right now, and issue three has really done something weird with with Collider, which is now sorry it's now it's not Collider anymore. It's now the Federal Bureau of Physics. A FBP is the the new title. So my apologies to Vertigo for for using an incorrect title for this comic, but uh, this is this is this is issue number three of uh, FBP. It just came out this week. And uh, there's something very interesting inside this comic. Okay, I'm gonna show you something that's very interesting that's inside this comic. You see, there's comics inside this comic. Pages of comics, right? There's a few pages of comics. You know, here you go. There's some comics. And hey, there's an advertisement. That's not a comic. It's an advertisement for a comic, which is it's nice that they're putting advertisements for comics inside my comics, but I would prefer to have comics in place of advertisements for comics. But that's fine, it's just one advertisement. We're cool with that, right? Well, you get another couple of pages of comics, and that's good, and then you get what looks to be some sort of weird, I don't know, splash page advertisement for our own company of comics publishing, which is just, I don't know, weird to me, but hey, you know, if that's what they want to do, they want to do. I, I guess given that there's fangs on here, it's maybe, maybe they're pushing the um, American Vampire comic, perhaps that's what they're going for. I don't know. But there's another advertisement for you, part, part of the comic that isn't comics, okay? And hey, what do you know, there's another one. Uh, and this one, weirdly enough, seems to be focusing on the very same comic I'm reading right now, which is bizarre to me, because why wouldn't you just put an actual page of a comic there? rather than an advertisement for the comic I'm reading. But, okay, all right, so we've got, we've got a little bit of frustration built up here, but, you know, this is just the beginning of the book. I'm sure it'll, it'll sort of smooth out a bit, and we'll get a lot more comic involved. And, oh, wait, there's another one. All right, you get three. Three strikes, that's fine. You know, I'm going to give you a fourth, because we're cool like that, Vertigo, you know. So there you go, you get your you get your big splash page of Vertigo. It doesn't even advertise any particular comic here, right? And yeah, hey, here we go, here's some comics. Sweet, sweet, uh, uh, another advertisement. I'm officially pretty, pretty disappointed now. I'm, I'm sort of beyond, you know, uh, sympathizing. And at this point, Vertigo's kind of walking on thin ice with, with this many advertisements. And, oh, look, another advertisement. Yep. Uh, I think you guys kind of getting the getting the hang of what's going on here. Ah, another advertisement. Yep, yep. Hey, hey look, more advertisements. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh two page spread of comic. Nice. Get some actual, get some actual visuals here. And uh, hey, wow, look at that. Four pages of stuff happening. 
and another advertisement. And that's the end of the comic. That's, that's the comic that I bought. I bought 32 pages. I bought 32 pages, and I got 20 pages of comic for three bucks. Okay, that's, that's, that's barely even, I paid three dollars for 20 pages worth of comic. Okay, I really like this comic, but I don't like it that much, especially because what I have here is the third issue of Ghosted from Image, okay? This is another really good comic, okay? It, it sits up there with, with, with Collider being that good, okay? The art's that good, the writing's that good. There's no drop in quality with this book, okay? Even, even the pages themselves hold up physically, you know? And, and look, look, get, look at that, look at that. comic, 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 comic. Oh my gosh, look at all, I could just kiss it. I could just hold it. I give it a big wet smooch because there's so much comic here. Sorry if anybody gets spoiled by any of this, but yeah, yeah. And you know what? It's the same fucking price. Pardon my language, but is anybody else that's reading these comics and looking at them on the shelf and taking them to the counter at the comic book shop and buying them being struck by how huge of a difference there is between the two types of, of, of services that we're getting here because there's a massive difference. And I don't care that Vertigo is a, a classic comic book publisher. They have a lot of properties and a lot of titles and they're not creator owned. I don't care about the fact that their business model is different and that they're owned by DC. At this point, Image has set the bar for comics publishing. And Vertigo should be meeting that bar. But instead, they're like taking the bar down and they're shoving it up my butt. That's what Vertigo is doing. And I have no choice but to set an ultimatum. If the next issue of FBP has that many advertisements in it and that little bit of comic, I'm done. I'm done with Vertigo completely, because here's what, that's a fantastic comic. It's one of the best science fiction comics I've read in a long time. It does not deserve to be, mm. you know, I'm going to restrain myself here. It doesn't deserve to be slandered this way. I like it. I want people to read it. I really want people to go out and take it off the shelf and read it. But I can't, in good faith do this and vertigo is putting me in a spot where i feel bad supporting them because of how much they're hurting this comic so those of you who are watching this who buy comics let vertigo know tell them raise your voice if everybody says something if every person who reads collider or was reading sorry fbp says something trust me something will happen maybe they might say something. They may not do anything, but at least they'll say something. But that's not the important part. The important part is that you say something. And maybe something will change. If it doesn't, at least you said something. I just can't stand for it. And I don't think you should either. End of rant.